guys how's it going welcome to this video all right guys so if you guys haven't already please smash the like button please subscribe please give me a thumbs up if you guys have a comment a question if you guys have fixed this issue definitely leave a comment in the comment section it might help somebody else out with a similar issue now let's get to it if you guys have this problem there's a good chance you guys probably have a check engine light on your dash and uh if you guys uh figure out what the code is you guys probably didn't have an obd2 scan you guys plugged it in and this code came up so let's talk about how you guys can figure out exactly what's causing this situation what kind of symptoms you guys are getting and how you guys can fix this situation so that uh so that so that this situation uh, is fixed. But in any case, if you guys uh, have a comment, uh, leave a comment. It's really important. Leave a comment and uh, let us know how you guys did it. But let's get to it. Let's figure out what the situation is and see if we can fix this problem. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. All right, so if you guys have any kind of issues with your ECU, your ECM, your TCM, you guys have any issues with your computers, or your car's computer modules, we're going to uh, help you guys out as far as resetting those modules and getting your car working right again. So if you guys don't know what those modules are, those modules are pretty much computer modules that control the operation of your engine, of your transmission, and uh, various other parts of your vehicle. Now, if you guys might be thinking you might have engine issues or transmission issues, you probably want to go through this step first as far as resetting those modules because a lot of times those modules could actually mimic uh, some issues with your engine or transmission and it might be just electrical programming as far as the computer is concerned instead of your car actually having mechanical problems and obviously a if you guys go through this step of resetting these modules it'll a save you money and b it'll help you figure out whether your car has issues because of a computer related issue in your vehicle or a mechanical issue obviously if it's a mechanical issue it's going to be quite expensive for the most part if it's just um if it's just a computer issue you might be able to, to just get away with reprogramming it and have your car uh work uh work like it did before you start having these issues now uh particularly with with newer vehicles the ecm the tcm the ecu all those modules actually play a significant part in how your vehicle operates how your engine operates how your transmission operates and a lot of times you might be you might have a check engine light for specific issues with your transmission with your engine codes like that but um but you might have those issues but uh if you guys could reset all those modules there's a good chance that it'll clear up all those codes and any issues that you might have all right so a lot of these resets you probably don't need any tools for them so we're gonna go through a couple of resets a couple of things that you can do on your own you don't need somebody to help you guys out to do it all right first thing you guys want to do is you guys want to get to the battery all right now this is the first way you guys can reset it get to the battery figure out uh figure out your negative cable take your negative cable off for a minute obviously you want your vehicle to be off and then afterwards pop it back on and reset it and see if the codes uh check into light or code or whatever uh, is off or you can drive your car around see whether your, your car your vehicle drives better all right now a lot of times this will work for older vehicles older vehicles mean probably like 2012 2010 um and if, if it doesn't work what you guys could do is take the next step and pretty much take the negative and positive cables off and touch them together and you guys could actually use a zip tie and and connect them together 
for maybe a good 10, 15 minutes so that everything in your car, all the electricity in your cars, uh, in your car drains out. You guys, and and hopefully that'll work. But however, if you guys have uh, an auxiliary an auxiliary battery, you guys definitely want to disconnect the auxiliary battery because um, taking the cables off the main battery and disconnecting it uh, won't really do anything if your auxiliary battery is actually saving um, all that information. In, uh, in in saving all that information. So, all right. So that's the first thing you guys could do. The second thing you guys could do, you guys can take the uh, take the the fuses. <laughs> you guys could take the fuses off uh, the fuse box. You guys want to get to the fuse box. Take the now. A lot of times, there's a, a couple of fuses for the ECM, the ECU, TCM. You definitely want to figure out where the where those fuses are and uh, take them off. If there's three of them, you want to take all three of them off for about a minute or two and then pop them back on. Now, here's the thing about that. All right, now, here's the thing about that, all right? There's a good chance that if one of the fuses is blown, you guys really want to check those fuses to make sure that they're not blown, all right? If any of those fuses are blown that's connected to the ECU, um, there's a good chance, obviously, you're going to have issues with uh, your car, the way the car works, or maybe not starting at all, all right? That's the second thing you guys can do. The third thing you guys can do is you guys could, if you guys wanted to, take all the cables off the ecu or ecm a lot of times all those modules are pretty much under the hood um they're pretty much in front of the engine you guys could take all those cables off the modules and then pop them back on sometimes that'll work better um but uh okay let's move on to let's move on to the next thing all right, uh, the next thing is you guys have uh, an OBD2 reader. If you guys don't know what an OBD2 reader is, you guys can get one from Walmart or, or, or Amazon. A lot of times they're pretty cheap. Sometimes you would need a factory uh, uh, an OBD2 scanner that's specifically to the manufacturer of your vehicle. Um, you guys want to just find where the OBD2 reader is and um, plug it in uh, most 99% of these readers 100% of these readers actually allow you to erase uh, check engine lights reset the codes reset your T TCM erasing it a lot of times will reset your car's computer your car's transmission uh, module uh, any of the modules and I've noticed that particularly with new cars if you guys actually do a reset or a delete uh, delete, erase um, codes on your vehicle. Um, uh, a lot of times, it'll reset any uh, memory of adaptive uh, memory. For you. And, uh, it'll, it'll reset any kind of um, adaptive learning that your ECM, your TCM, ECU uh, has in the computer. It might drive a little bit weird. Uh, it might drive a little bit weird, um, but um, it you know it might take maybe a, a drive cycle or two before it drives. It drives normally again, but once you reset it, um, you know you can drive it around. Hopefully, it fixes your issue and you won't have that issue anymore. Now, the fourth thing that you guys could do is to replace the ECU, the TCM, the ECM. You guys can replace those modules, all right? That's probably the last thing you guys want to do because um, sometimes it's cheap if you guys get these used modules from eBay, but if you guys get them from the dealership, um, they're going to have to program it, and it's probably going to cost you a lot, a lot, a lot of money. And in most cases, you probably need to program, being, program them anyway if you guys get these uh, if you guys uh, get these modules uh, off of eBay, because a lot of these modules are actually um, 
they'll work with the specific VIN number of the vehicle. And you probably need to get it reprogrammed to the VIN number of your vehicle. So hopefully this video has helped you guys out. If you guys have any questions, leave a question in the comment section. Let us know uh, how, whether it's helped you guys out. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up. All that good stuff, guys. Take care. Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to this video. All right, so if you guys have any kind of issues with your ECU, your ECM, your TCM, you guys have any issues with your computers, or your car's computer modules, we're going to uh, help you guys out as far as resetting those modules and getting your car working right again. So if you guys don't know what those modules are, those modules are pretty much computer modules that control the operation of your engine, of your transmission, and uh, various other parts of your vehicle now if you guys might be thinking you might have engine issues or transmission issues you probably want to go through this step first as far as resetting those modules because a lot of times those modules could actually mimic uh, some issues with your engine or transmission and it might be just electrical programming as far as the computer is concerned instead of your car actually having mechanical problems and obviously a if you guys go through this step of resetting these modules it'll a save you money and b it'll help you figure out whether your car has issues because of a computer related issue in your vehicle or a mechanical issue obviously if it's a mechanical issue it's going to be quite expensive for the most part if it's just um if it's just a computer issue you might be able to, to just get away with reprogramming it and have your car uh work uh work like it did before you start having these issues now uh particularly with with newer vehicles, the ECM, the TCM, the ECU, all those modules actually play a significant part in how your vehicle operates, how your engine operates, how your transmission operates. And a lot of times you might be you might have a check engine light for specific issues with your transmission, with your engine codes like that. But um, but you might have those issues, but, uh, if you guys could reset all those modules, there's a good chance that it'll clear up all those codes and any issues that you might have. All right. So a lot of these resets, you probably don't need any tools for them. So we're going to go through a couple of resets, a couple of things that you can do on your own. You don't need somebody to help you guys out to do it. All right. First thing you guys want to do is you guys want to get to the battery. All right. Now, this is the first way you guys can reset it. Get to the battery. Figure out uh, figure out your negative cable. Take your negative cable off for a minute. 